So myself, Gyanendra Gangwar, just uh, I secured 314 rank in uh, 2015 exam. So I am 2016 batch. And here just I want to introduce my educational and social background especially. So uh, I am hailing from a small village in Uttar Pradesh. And uh, as far as my schooling is concerned, it was all till high school done in a very small village. And uh, after that I moved to the city then went to IIT Kanpur. Did my engineering in 2009 and after that I did job for five to six years. Uh, here just let me introduce because engineering and UPSC is not quite relevant. So not quite, as I said, not a quite good advantage. So even art background and any just other sociology or society, uh, humanities courses, they are more relevant could be. So uh, just uh, I'm giving advice to all that, okay, even if you are whatever background you are from, so it is just uh, quite like only, only the confidence building and only the basic aptitude and attitude you are getting and basic knowledge. UPSC again, you have to start afresh. And uh, the secondly, just uh, in fact, uh, as far as uh, social background is concerned, okay, this UPSC has taught us that irrespective of the background, whether you're poor, whether you are from which caste or community or which religion, it's irrespective of all those things, it just gives the equal fighting place or just we can say that it is like having the uh, giving the equal opportunity for all. Okay, so irrespective of the social background, educational background, again, you have to fight here and you have to work hard and smartly okay so here just second strategy i'm devising and giving uh, suggestions not only the hard work but also which is uh, more important is uh, how smartly you plan the hard work because everybody is working hard okay even the farmers towing on the farm field is also working hard but everybody is working hard but how you basically succeed is a slightly bit different because then you have to make a strategy and you have to uh, certain things and then then also you have to make the time management schedule etc so everything comes under like a smartly how smartly you plan it okay so uh, another thing is like uh, especially during the preparation or let us say the beginning of the preparation i did not know anything about the upsc as far as far as concerned as well i did not know much about the general studies like so called the general knowledge uh, that time so at the beginning of the preparation i knew nothing and uh, Later on, I like slowly, I got a bit confidence, okay, just I can do it. And in UPSC, especially, no, at the beginning, like most of the people just get the confidence, but nervousness is also there. So that nervousness you can utilize as a driving force. Driving force means that, okay, whenever you get nervous, you just work harder and harder. So nervousness actually is there. I haven't found anybody that who is confident and, and not nervous. Okay, so that is how uh, uh, the things are there. So it is the package of everything confidence also nervousness also that okay, whether all are just uh, studying how could I clear alone, etc. So a lot of things are there. Uh, apart from that, okay, especially my preparation, as I said in the beginning was not much uh, good and I was suffering uh, actually, you know, a lot not able to figure it out that which medium I have to choose, okay, whether Hindi or English, because I was basically from the Hindi medium. And uh, my engineering, again, I used to basically uh, deal with the equations and with the engineering, especially formulas so and uh, modules. So linguistically speaking that I was not well versed with the English, but somehow that was also a big challenge. A lot of like regional lingual, especially the people from coming from rural area, coming from the uh, regional colleges, they just simply struggle a lot at the beginning, which language they have to opt for the medium, they, whether they have to write the paper in English or whether they have to write in Kannada or English or Tamil. So that is also one big and lot of lot of like a rumors are there that okay if you choose English is more favorable compared to Hindi or any other regional language. So those questions are also were coming, but somehow I said okay that if I go for the English, I'll get more material because uh, like lot of uh, good material that time was available in the English language. So availability of material also one of the question and my uh, that it could help also in interview for people to understand. So. Those are like a inputs I am sharing from my beginning of the preparation period. Apart from that, uh, just I want to share uh, especially a few strategies for the preparation of the UPSC. So uh, there are two ways. Okay, one is like uh, know your strength first of all, which will help you in deciding your optional. Okay, whichever it could be. So once you know your strength, 
easily you can decide your optional which is quite deciding factor in your selection okay so in my case earlier i chose geography which was not quite suitable for me as i said okay because geography is quite, um, uh, for others it could be quite scoring for me it was not that much scoring so then i just for three four months i sat down and just decided okay which optional i have to choose so i was just attempting few questions from the few subjects and i got to know okay let me attempt few questions from the uh, physics uh, optional and i went ahead and finally i got to know okay this is my strength and i chose physics and i scored all india third highest in physics and that was the main cause for the selection i can say second one is like a choosing the right material for the general studies as well as well as for the optional subject because hard work is one thing irreplaceable okay you cannot replace hard work the basic important uh, is uh, selecting the material and how to study them okay because it's like upsc preparation is like an ocean vast ocean okay you have lot of material every day just you are getting a new magazine new newspaper new news okay and if you go to the places like a karol bag old rajendra nagar in in mukherjee nagar in new delhi or any center here in bangalore any capital city you will see lot of like a floods of the material so that sometimes the more material confuse you okay so select uh, selection of the material is also very crucial okay so that you define your limit okay this is the material that i have to study from time to time okay once twice or thrice that you can uh, uh, select another thing is that evaluating yourself okay evaluation is very important because whatever you are studying whether you are in line with the upsc examination or not okay so uh, my case was like uh, the best evaluator was the question paper okay because nobody else can tell you in which depth you actually are there as per the upsc standards are concerned or preparation standards are concerned so i actually used to uh, attempt upsc old question papers a lot okay and suppose from the 2000 non words i used to just uh, somehow uh, solve the question papers and later on i used to just uh, uh, evaluate that how far i could score which is like at par with the uh, so called the threshold or so called the cut off so that was the best evaluator for me and i did it continuously okay so last uh, from the 2000 like from 15 to 20 years these question papers i solved from the for the prelims also and uh, as far as the mains is concerned so that helped a lot to me okay because i evaluated continuously weekly to myself that whether i am going in right direction whether my material is right okay and whether my preparation what i am going through is all like at the par level so this is the this is the strategy which i followed and that i am suggesting you to evaluate yourself and choose the right material by yourself so this is the with regard to strategy another point i want to bring to your uh, in fact knowledge uh, is the especially early preparation whether it helps or not because many uh, this aspirants are somehow uh, raising the questions or just asking the questions that okay in if you start at the beginning of your graduation if you start at the 12th or 11th standard that you will be far ahead but uh, believe me that uh, the only thing which you should be concerned okay that is like a, you have to be aware of the general things which whatever, whatever going on in the environment okay and second that whatever you are studying you study correctly that's all let focus on your current study and but parallel you have to be aware of the world things like whatever is going on in around in and around okay not too much to be worried about the one exam only okay so till graduation uh, just my request is to just focus on whatever you are studying whatever you are pursuing that time okay that's it not so early this too much early preparation uh, I, i don't think it helps that scale okay so even if you start after the graduation that sufficient time you will get 2 3 years is sufficient for preparation for cracking the exam if you are having the right mind set up and hard working and smartly you have planned or uh, rightly you have planned the especially your entire study so 2 3 years uh, almost sufficient okay so early uh, preparation won't help m- uh, sometimes what happens neither you get through apsc or not sometimes just you already ruined your uh, grads okay already you ruined your graduation so that also ha- happens okay so first you have to just focus on your graduation and work hard there and score maximum and later just you can carry forward that scoring so uh, another uh, like for this uh, young aspirants okay 
for the young aspirants actually uh, first you have to uh, understand that what to uh, i mean what will be the role of a ias officer or ips officer or administrator in general okay so first you should be that much motivated okay that uh, because motivation is one thing which should be behind you, uh, which should be basically the uh, crux here because this exam is a marathon it's it's not like a sprint like within two three months you prepare and you clear it's like a marathon of more than one year i can say okay so more than one year that means continuously for every day you need a motivation okay so your motivation should be very clear and here i can uh, uh, vouch for that uh, lot of opportunities for the lot of fields okay diversity uh, is the here key especially if you want if you are interested in education you work in education if you are interested in health department or health services you can work for health also if you are interested in rural uh, engineering or rural development you can work for that so diversity is too high here okay so whatever area you are interested in you can get that kind of work here okay so that kind of some uh, like and uh, whatever motivates you the motivation should be strong which can carry you forward okay for long uh, sustainable period so this is the one of the advice and second as i said continuously evaluate yourself and evaluate yourself okay until unless you evaluate on your own to yourself uh, nobody can help you out okay so i as i told you how i used to evaluate myself with my strategy you can also do the same and uh, Uh, let us know okay just i would like to share first uh, that uh, the leadership qualities like uh, what should be the leadership quality so apart from theoretical like everybody knows okay you should be uh, leading from the front uh, or you should be very compassionate or you should basically you know somehow a better also and same times a goal setter also and f- uh, selecting the team so a practical aspect uh, if i tell you or share uh, with you is in government setup just what i uh, realized or experienced is like a, yeah, first setting a goal is also very important that you have to study in and you have to find it out that okay what should be the goal for your team then selection of the team like at the uh, correct place a correct person to be set up okay and if if you do two things other things are just like a quite less relevant like a motive uh, you can motivate from time to time because sometimes the target you no know, it takes a lot of time also so properly if you set a goal and properly communicate it to your team and selecting a good team okay will be like your 80 90% job is done so apart from these two aspects then other things like a continuously motivating lead from the front and the, like i am sharing only the government here whatever experienced in the government setup another thing is that that how did i achieve especially uh, few uh, in government setup so uh, I, twice just uh, i was uh, ceo also and i was uh, there uh, here the food, now i am here just in the food department and during those uh, in fact all those uh, times uh, the two things are very important like what is the Uh, like ideal uh, ideal goal okay for a department as i said ideal goal what should be the idealistic uh, in fact uh, the expected outcome and once you know the idealistic expected outcome and then you know what you are actually delivering okay and start analyzing the gap okay so once you know that where are these gaps okay and, how, and uh, maybe 10 20 30 in many areas could be okay and try to basically again minimize those gaps through innovative ways maybe through well planning maybe and setting the goal for your team also you pick up first maybe the low hanging fruits and the areas which have the maximum impact so that's how i did in uh, when i was ceo be there where just uh, i carried this initiative uh, installing uh, the solar energy especially solar panel uh, pa- so solar powered in fact all the panchayats and that was later on uh, appreciated by the state so here also in the where while i am working here in the food department here also uh, i got to know that okay lot of ineligible beneficiaries are there maybe they are having the higher income so income tax related issues or maybe having uh, especially the four wheelers or having the high land, huge land maybe government servants also so i combined all the database and also dead beneficiaries so in uh, nearly 15 lakh 
ineligible beneficiaries because of the several reasons i deleted that uh, at least uh, saving 25 to 30 crore per month so it's like again i also decided okay how to correct my database okay so then what should be the ideal way to correct it then i just what is the current way so like the gap analysis is the best way to guide me that what should be done in the department so that uh, that is my especially uh, strategy i am sharing here with you okay and thank you so much for listening